KP classes dedicated to excellence. Step. So starting firstly with COAP registration. So this is this is a flowchart on the website of COAP which mentions the overall admission uh, so that the registration process. There's a link for registration of COAP website. You'll need to go through the instructions, accept the terms and conditions. What are the inputs required? What all information should you have for registration? You should have your gate registration number, the gate paper code, which is AR for architecture grad uh, uh, for those students who have written architecture, gate scores. Uh, so basically, there are three GATE scores which are valid at this point of time, GATE 2025, GATE 2024 and GATE 2023. Out of these, if you have written multiple GATE exams in last three years, you have to select the best score you have. Always take the best score and enter that first. Uh, in the registration process, first they will ask you for the best GATE score. You can add multiple GATE scores later on. However, best GATE score only will be considered for your admissions in last three years. So whatever best GATE score you have of three years that you need to add over here in the registration. Name, date of birth, email ID, phone number. So basic details. And then you'll get your registration number of uh, COP, which you can use later on to apply into other colleges. So it's a brief idea on the overall registration process. As per the official website of COP, that is Common Offer Acceptance Portal, the important dates listed down. For round one, the first round result is expected on May 17th. So basically all the IITs, the application into all the IITs will be already completed before May 17th. So that you will get the result on May, May 17th or you'll get the offer on May 17th basically. May 17th to 20 is the time duration between which you will be given the offers on COAP. Now uh, you will be having to, so basically let us say I got some rank, let us say, I, my rank is around say 130 or so. Now, I have applied into various IITs, I have applied into IIT Kharagpur, uh, the city planning course over there. I have applied into architecture MR course at IIT Kharagpur. I have applied into Roorkee uh, city plan, uh, the planning and plan course, MURP and also MR at Roorkee. Let us say I have applied into five or uh, six courses in different IITs. Uh, because the deadline will be very close in the month of March itself. So, uh, so in the month of April, sorry, not March. So in the month of May, that is May 17th, that's when you'll get the offers. You might get off multiple offers also. So let us say I applied into six courses. Of those six, I got five offers, let us say. Uh, so that is possible. Depending on your gate rank, you might get multiple offers. Now of those multiple offers, you can, you'll be getting three options, accept and freeze, Retain and wait, reject and wait. Now, of all the options you have, if you don't like anything, obviously you will reject and wait. Uh, if you have, if you are interested, if you got already got what you want, let us say I decided I want to do a mark from Rurki, and I got that option. You can just directly accept and freeze, and your admission will be finalized in round one itself. But if you have a second, so you have a, pl a plan for, you have a target, you have a uh, interest in a particular course, but you did not get an offer from it yet. So you can select your backup and retain and wait for further rounds. So when you wait for further rounds, whenever you get the suitable offer in the next round, round two will be from May 23rd to May 26th. So there are multiple rounds, there are five rounds, after which also if there are seats vacant, you might have spot rounds as well. So the process for COAP is this way, you'll complete your application first and it, uh, all the applications will be linked with your COAP registration number. You'll get your offers on the COAP portal. You can accept any offer you like in round one. If you don't like anything in round one, you can retain and wait. You can retain some option and wait for the next round. So that's the process. It goes on for five rounds. To have a better clarity on the COAP website, they have given this flowchart as well. For those who are still having a bit of lack of clarity, let me clearly tell you what are the options you will be having at every stage after offer one. You will be choosing the most preferred offer. If you have five offers, you cannot select five offers. You can only select any one. And when you select an offer, automatically all the other four options will be getting rejected. Remember that. If you are getting five offers from five different ISDs, and if you have selected one offer for retain and wait or accept and freeze, whatever it is, you, other than reject and wait, if you're selecting anything other than that, like retain and wait or accept and freeze, if you're selecting that for any one option, the remaining four options will automatically getting get rejected and you'll not get those offers in the further rounds also. So remember that. So always you need to select your most preferred option. Uh, that's the process for COAP. You need to select the most preferred option. Uh, and then for that, you can either accept and freeze 
if you accept and freeze then your admission will be finalized you'll go and pay the fee to the institute and just wait for the classes to start classes will begin in the month of probably june end of june or early july so you'll wait for the start of classes and you'll go and take your ad will start your classes there that's for accept and freeze if you don't select accept accept and freeze you the alternative option you have is retain and wait if you retain and wait you can wait for further rounds for a better option so uh, but you have you will have the seat as a backup so you can retain and wait uh, for the next round so you will be having this option and you are waiting for a better option in the next round if you don't like any of the options you got you can directly reject and wait whatever options are rejected will not be given to you again in the next round remember that so of again second round you will be having now in the second round if you think you got a better option you can select that accept and freeze and take your admission if you still are not happy you can still retain and wait so um, one important point in this process is you cannot select retain and wait more than two times for the same college with the same course for example if i selected retain and wait on iit roorkee's murp in the round 1 if i selected retain and wait for murp iit roorkee in round 2 in third round i cannot again retain and wait either i have to accept it or reject it you cannot retain that option anymore uh, so that's the procedure i hope the process of cop is clear